Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I need to get through this video because I still have to get Robert up for school. I still have to read my Bible. I just have a lot of stuff that I need to get done. So I'm going to try to show you guys everything that I got. I was supposed to go to the Dollar Tree yesterday around 1 o'clock for the Pillow Pets. Didn't end up making it down there until the evening time. They only had five Pillow Pets left and it was in one character that wasn't my favorite. I still picked up two of them. I will show you guys the ones that I got. Plus I have the other ones that I showed you guys the other day. So I know that they have more at my Dollar Tree because Melissa told me they were getting in a really big shipment. Plus the sign said item of the week. So they should be unloading more pillow pets every day for at least a couple of days. So the pillow pets that they had left were these turtles. They are cute, but they're not my favorite. I had no intentions on getting tons and tons of pillow pets. My house is already so overloaded with stuff, but I did want to pick up just a few because I have someone that I'm sending some to. Plus, I wanted to keep some set aside for birthday presents and stuff like that. So, these are the real name brand pillow pets that I've seen on TV. And these are the peewees. These are the smaller ones. So, as you can see, it shows you the example of it's a pillow and then it's a pet. So, you can open it. It's got the little Velcro on the bottom. And if you guys are interested in these pillow pets, because I know a lot of you guys are interested in them for your child, if you go to your Dollar Tree and they're completely out, or you went yesterday, go back the next day or maybe even the next day, because they should have more than just one day's worth. Ask um, one of the managers. Don't just ask a worker. Ask for the manager and ask them, do you happen to have any more pillow pets in the back? If they don't want to go in in the back and unload any for you, chances are they're probably not going to want to do that. Ask them when they will be unloading more so you can go back there right at the time that they're going to unload them. So, I got those. Robert picked out these Minion Valentine's Day cards. He actually wanted football ones, but they didn't have them. I've gotten football Valentine's cards for him before there, so hopefully they'll get some. If not, I'll just pick some up at Target or Walmart. So it shows you out of the 32, all the different designs. There's eight different designs on the back, and I think these are really cute. So got those. I picked up a pack of these Assured Maxi Pads. It says compared to always regular Maxi. You get 10 of them. I like these because they have the wings. Obviously, pads aren't my favorite, but... Sometimes it's necessary that I have them. So I picked up two packs of these, which is really the main reason that I went in there. And I came out with way more. Sorry, getting a drink of my coffee. Robert said he needed some more men's body wash. I actually purchased a bunch of the white rain in the fresh. They have fresh, clean and one more. I don't know what the third is, and they're all different colors. These are newer. They have them in the body wash, and then they have them in the shampoo, body wash, and I think it's face wash, and I bought the sets, and I gave them out, like, with other Christmas presents for men, like I would come, or pair it with the cologne. Yes, White Rain is, like, a janky brand, but these smell really good, and the guys seem to really like them. So I got Robert and Jordan this one in the fresh. This is the Energizing Body Wash in the G Factor. This is Ginseng, and I can never pronounce this, Guarana. It's 11.2 fluid ounces. So like I said, this is a repurchase, and then I've gotten this one before as well. They have one in this power stick that's shorter, and it's purple. It looks like it's the exact same, but really it's a different scent. This intensity smells really good, plus it has a lot of product in there. This is 16 fluid ounces. You get the 20% more. So I picked up both of those for Robert and Jordan. I was watching on Clara Slate's channel. I don't know if she's uploaded another video since the one I watched. It was literally just uploaded, I think, yesterday or day before yesterday it was a smaller Dollar Tree haul and I've seen these Revlon Colorstay nail polishes there 
quite a few times, but I've always passed on them. But she picked up a kind of brandy red color, I think, and she said that the quality of the nail polish was good, so I thought I would try them up instead of passing them up like I always do. Also, she showed a picture of the double packs of the Revlon nail polish. I didn't see any of those, but I will definitely be on the hunt for those. So I picked up three of these Revlon nail polishes. I got this kind of peachy one, and this is in the 220, let's see, Provoke. Normally, I'm into darker colors, but for whatever reason, I was into the lighter colors this time. I got this really pretty mint green color, and I don't really have any mint greens. I can never find the right shade, and I actually liked this one. This one's in the 190 Entice, and these are more for my toes. So there's one more. The third one is in another bag, so I'll show it to you when I get there. I picked up these Bonjour socks, and I know I've purchased these before. I got these, I don't know, like five months ago. It's been a while since I bought them, but I cannot find them anywhere, and they had them, so I decided to pick them up. It's just the black and white stripes with the black heel and toe. It's got the hot pink Bonjour, and this is in the women's size 9 to 11. In any of these fashion socks, I like to get the 9 to 11 because I feel like their socks run kind of smaller. This selfie stick I had already showed you guys maybe two or three months ago. And it's not the best selfie stick, but it does work. It does the job. And I ended up giving it to my little sister for her phone. So I picked up another one. And while I was there, I noticed that they had these self-portrait buttons. And I was like, that's perfect. Because instead of having to use the self-timer on my phone every time I use a selfie stick, I can just use the self-portrait button with this. But I noticed that this says it's for the iPhone. I have an Android, so I'm going to have to go back and look for one of these in the Android. So... I still thought this was really cool and a good deal. So they have these selfie sticks in many different colors. And also, my phone is really big, and this stretches out to fit my, like, huge phone. So Jordan picked out this tap-out lighter in green. They had it in about five different colors. They had black, a kind of pearl gray. Mmm... I don't remember all the colors. I liked the black and the pearl gray the best, but he liked the green. This is the Curve, and it's a refillable lighter. Here's the third. I thought I got four, three or four of these, but I think I may have just got three. I did pick out a really dark color, and I decided to put it back because I didn't want to get four nail polishes. So this is the third one. It's a really pretty kind of pearl sheer pink color this one is the 080 enchant so those are the three that i got if i come across a fourth one i'll show it to you guys and i like the really pretty shimmer that this one has to it and back in the day when i was like in junior high and high school we would get french manicures and it used to be really popular. They would call it cotton candy to get a really sheer pink over your French manicure like this. And so this just kind of took me back to those days of getting the cotton candy French manicures. I don't know if any of you guys remember that or it was popular in your area. Then I picked up this three pack of the Tampax Radiant Plastics. Obviously, this isn't the best deal because it's just three for a dollar, but I don't like cardboard applicators. I hate them. I will not use them, and for convenience, because I didn't want to drive to Target, I just picked up one of these. They do have another brand of tampons at the Dollar Tree that I purchased before. I have the name on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it, and it is plastic applicators, and you get eight they did have those there, but I decided I just wanted to get the Tampax because I really like those. I tried and tried to talk Jordan out of getting this because I purchased this before. It did work, but 
it wasn't the best. Maybe because my phone is so big, his will probably work a little bit better because it's smaller than mine. This is the charge and sync dock. It's for micro USB device. So I'll let you guys know what he thinks of this. It says Android compatible works with Android, Samsung, Sony, LG, Motorola, and HTC. The electronics at Dollar Tree aren't the best. It's like half and half. Half of the stuff works good and then half of it doesn't. Like the USB cords, I have no problems with that type of stuff. But then like if you remember the little speakers that looked like boom boxes, you plug those into the top of your phones to amplify the sound. Those were crap. So you're just kind of taking a chance on the electronics. I picked up this e.l.f. smudge brush. And the reason I got this was for my eyebrows. I think I may already have this. This is the 1825. But I couldn't remember for sure if I have it. So I decided to get it to fill in my eyebrows. I've still been growing out my eyebrows. And the left one is coming along really nice. But the right one is so far behind. And... So I have to add a little something to that side just to even them out. And I thought this looked like it might work well. So then I picked up another one of the Barbie Detangler and the Cotton Candy. It's in a new or a newer at least packaging. The one that I have is like all pink. And I think this works really well for getting the tangles out of your hair. Normally, I don't deal with tangles. My hair is normally pretty silky smooth, and I can brush right through it. But because I've been using a lot of the dry shampoo lately, when I get out of the shower, my hair is just knotted, and this helps to not, you know, I'm not tearing through my hair. So it smells really good as well, and it's eight fluid ounces. I went a little bit crazy on the Valentine's Day stickers again. I already purchased Valentine's Day stickers from Dollar Tree and Walmart, and I almost repurchased some of the Valentine's Day stickers that I showed you guys on my last Dollar Tree haul. Thankfully, I remembered the ones that I already got, and I put them back. So the first one that I got I thought was adorable. This is 48 of the little cupcakes, all the different desserts, and it's this kind of metallic-looking print. So I got that one. I got this one. This is kind of like the little woodland creatures. You get 50 of these ones. It's got the owls, the squirrels, the foxes, the flowers. This one has eight, and it's got the little crawdad or the crab, whatever you want to call it, the owl, just all the different cute little animals. This one comes with 49, and it's got also flowers, owls, turtles, butterflies, and these ones are a little bit more, like, raised. They're a little bit puffy. This one I thought was really adorable. You get 44 of the little kitty cats, the puppies, the doghouse. Look how cute that little mailbox is, the little stamp, the envelope. So these are just so cute. I love Valentine's Day stuff. These are repurchased. I already have these. But because they had them, I thought, wow, they still have them. I'll pick up another pack. You get 120 of the rhinestone heart stickers. You get the large ones, the, I don't know, kind of semi-large, and then the medium and really small ones. I've seen these before, but I've always passed on them, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to get them. They're cute. It's the Jot brand, and it's 61 of these animal print hearts. I got these, and I think I have these as well. You get 25 of these love stickers, the heart, hug, more love, and they're all glittery. I got these, which I thought were really pretty. It's 32 of these baby pink glittery hearts. I absolutely love these ones. These are like one of my favorites. Then I got these glittery hearts, and you get 32 of these. These are the red and pink hearts. So I think that's all the stickers I got on this trip. Oh, no, I got another pack. I actually, I actually took a picture of 
these stickers on my last trip and I passed them up. But I decided to go ahead and get them. It's the Shopkins and it's over 150 stickers. It comes with the activity set which I will not be using. But I will be using the stickers. I thought they were really cute. So I got those. I got these cute little boxes of Palmer's chocolates. This one says best friends, pugs, and kisses, and it's got the little pugs. I thought that was so adorable. You get six pieces of the chocolate in there. And the little chocolates, if you can see through the little window, have the picture of the little pugs on it. I just thought that was so cute. I got this e.l.f. jumbo eyeshadow stick and... They had these the last time I went in, and I have quite a few of these in my makeup drawer that I have yet to use, but I don't know if I have the black. I have purple, I think I have like a kind of hazel brown, and I don't know, I thought I would get the black because I use black the most. This is the 21640 Midnight Rin, oh my gosh, Rindin, Rinzinvis, I can't even say. I know how you pronounce it, but I cannot get it out, so we'll just leave it at that. It says, creamy and pigment-rich eye color. Then I got another one of the Crest toothpaste. They haven't had any of my Crest 3D white there for a while, so I'm going to have to go back to buying the bigger Crest 3D white at Target and Walmart. So for now, I decided to go with the Fresh Mint because it's got the baking soda and peroxide, which is whitening. I like to stick with whitening toothpaste, so this is 2.9 ounces. I got another one of these cute little boxes of chocolates. This has the little baby pit bulls. It says, best friends, it's the pits without you. So these are the two side by side. I just thought those were so stinking cute. The only thing I had as far as a complaint with these is they set a box of heavy chocolates on top of them. And all of them were kind of like pushed over. But it seems like they've kind of went back to semi-normal. So there were some other really cute ones. But they were way too bent and damaged for me to get. Let me get a drink of my coffee. I need to get Robert up for school. Then I got some more chocolate. They had tons of candy, but I just was not in the mood to really shop last night. But some of this stuff I just could not pass up. I would like to go back for some of the candy that I did see. This is the Whitman Sampler. And I do like Whitman's chocolate. I think it's good. I don't buy a lot of off-brand candy, but some of it, when it's cute like this, I will buy. Like, Robert doesn't mind the off-brand candy, but certain people, I won't buy off-brand. Like, for my grandma or my grandpa, my mom, I'll buy name brand. And Whitman's is a good-tasting chocolate. So, this one's got the cute little puppy, and it says, Happy Valentine's Day. It's two ounces. This will probably go to Robert. I've actually purchased these same Whitman's sampler bars on previous years. I got this one. I've got this one before too. And these have a cute little spot on the back that says to and from. And then I got the kitty cat one. So I've bought all of these. These are all repurchases because they have had these for a couple years now. So I just thought these were really cute. Robert loves animals, especially dogs, so these will be cute for him. I don't know that they'll all go to him, but I got these. These were new to my Dollar Tree, and I wanted to take a picture of them and kind of research them before I bought them, but Robert and Jordan ended up going over to CVS so Robert could buy a card for his Xbox, and he had my phone, so I couldn't take a picture so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy one bottle of each because these are probably going to sell out fast. It says, America's number one selling weight loss supplement brand, purely inspired weight loss. This is the Konjac and Root, or Root, 100% pure with scientifically dosed green coffee. It's got 60 tablets. It's a dietary supplement. And then this one is 
the green coffee bean, and this is also 60 tablets. So if any of you guys have heard of these or use these, let me know what you think about them. It says it's America's number one selling, but they slap that kind of stuff on so many products that it's hard to know if it's true or not. I purchased two of these, and I actually saw... Who did I see haul this? I don't remember who I saw haul this. It's the credit card size, fits in your wallet, USB cable. Jordan got a blue one, and he already opened his. But the reason I got mine is because I'm actually going to keep it in my wallet in case of an emergency if I ever really need to charge my phone. It's compatible with micro USB devices. Cord length is 8 inches. I just thought that was pretty cool. So if you can see that when you open it, the cord is wound up inside and you can put it in your wallet. They had pink, red, blue, and I think green. Then I got... Let's see, this little pack, they had a couple different designs. This comes with the little holder, the tweezers, and then a magnifying mirror. I needed a new pair of tweezers, so I thought these would be perfect. These shape and kind of tweezers always work good for me. As far as how springy they are, I'll have to see because if they're not like super like springy and tight, they don't seem to work good for me, so I'll let you guys know what I think about these. If I can remember, and I haven't actually been tweezing my eyebrows that much because I always get them waxed, so I picked up this e.l.f. smudge pot, and I just bought a purple one. I showed it to you guys in my last haul, but this name doesn't sound familiar. It might be the same one, but I didn't want to take a chance that it was a different purple. This is the 21697 Pop and Party. It might be the same one. I'm not sure, but just in case... And if it is, I have two because I think it's a really pretty color. Then I'm almost done, you guys. I got some more Valentine's Day signs. I thought these were super pretty. So these ones are the ones that have the strings in between. And it's got all the really pretty glitter. It says love, sweet love. And so they're all connected by the ribbon in the back if you can see that. They had some other new signs, and I showed you guys all the Valentine's Day signs that I already got. But I don't know where I'm going to put all these, so I just got two more for now. And I definitely could not pass these. I just thought these were super pretty. Well, I don't know about pretty, but cute, adorable, whatever you want to say. And then this one's almost the same, but it's got different writing on it. This one says forever and always. So this also has the ribbon in the back that's holding it together. The ribbon on top to hang it up. And I just absolutely love these signs. I think they're so stinking cute. So I got those. I got... And these, I think I might already have these. I'm almost positive that I have these. These are the ouchies. Mad Libs, and it says, hide your wound, not your style, and it's got 20 adhesive bandages plus one marker, so I don't know exactly how these, okay, so you just do the Mad Libs, I don't think Robert would actually do the Mad Libs, I was kind of thinking of something different, like that each band-aid had like jokes on it or something, so I know I, for a fact, have some of the ouchy brands in the tins, but it might not be the Mad Libs, it might be something else, so I got those. And I think that is everything. Yep, I'm almost positive that's everything that I got. If there's anything that I left out, I'll do a forgotten items video. I hope you guys enjoyed the stuff that I showed you. I know it's kind of bouncy with me leaning over and getting this stuff. I apologize for that. I wanted to get this video done before I got Robert up for school and before I got my day started. Like I said, I still have to get him in the shower, read my Bible, all that stuff. So... Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you to the ones that have been with me. I have some pictures that I was supposed to upload to Instagram yesterday. I'm going to for sure do it today. My Instagram is breakup, number two, makeup, and the number one. It's all one word, no spaces, and no capitals. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.